Hey guys, John here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the lead sound from Dom Dalla, Miracle Maker. And it sounds like this. All right, so let's dive into this. Let's go to our effects tab and let's turn up all the effects we have going on here, which is quite a few for this patch. Also on the channel itself, I have an EQ. Let's turn that off as well. And let's focus just on the pattern itself. So that's with no effects, no EQ, just the oscillators going through the filter. So first thing, let's turn off our sub oscillator B and our filter, and let's focus on the first oscillator. This one is going to be the init saw wave, down one octave and also down seven semitones. It's gonna be a unison of seven. The detune is about 0 0.02, so it's pretty close. The blend is gonna be 75. Phase is gonna be a zero. The random also at zero. And it sounds like this. Now let's focus on oscillator B. So this one is going to be a square wave, up one octave, unison of seven as well. The detune is 0 0.09, the blend is 75, phase is at zero, and then the random for this one is actually 100%. So the difference of the two really for the random, the saw is gonna be zero, and then the random for the square is gonna be 100%. And then this is what the saw sounds like, or the square sounds like. Now them together, And two things to point out for this type of sound is that for the saw wave, the saw is gonna be going up initially and then the square wave is gonna be going down. So something just to keep in mind. The second thing is really mixing the levels correctly for these two oscillators. So specifically the level is 79% for the saw and then for the square is gonna be 46%. Next, we're gonna have the sub turned on and that's gonna be up one octave and it's also gonna be a saw and the level is 57%. So this is what all three sound like. Now let's start with the filtering. So let's turn our filter on. We're gonna choose high six and only A and B are going through the filter. The sub is not gonna be going through the filter at all. So the cutoff is going to be about noon, so 472 hertz. The drive is really what's going to make this sound really cool, and it's going to be at 50%. So here's the difference with and without the drive. Here's without the drive. Now let's increase it. All right, so let's dive now into the effects tab. So the first one we, we are gonna have is a distortion at soft clip to really kind of dial in that, that distortion that I hear in the track. Now with no distortion. With, distor with distortion. Next, we're gonna be using the compressor as a multiband. Let's turn this on. And the reason for the multiband that I used for this patch specifically is to really dial in the tonality of compression for this. So we could see here that maybe the high is 117, the mid is 152%, and then the low is at 98%. And this is really to ear. You kind of have to listen to the track A, B, it back and forth and really dial in that right compression. A lot of these settings here are kind of left alone. This is really, like I said, more so for tonality. Next, we're gonna have a delay here. Turn that on. And this delay is more so used for spatialness. We're gonna be using one over eight for left and right. It's gonna be normal. And then for the frequency, 442, and then the Q is 1.2. And then the feedback is about 34%, because I didn't want it to feedback too much, too many delays. More so just like one delay, maybe a little, little space right after the note gets struck. Next, we're going to be using some reverb. And 
And this really opens it up as well and kind of sounds kind of close to the track itself. It's going to be in Hall. The size is 21%. The Decay is 34 Low cut zero, the high cut 50%, spin 25%, spin depth 20%, and then the mix 27%. Next, we're going to have a filter, a comb filter L6. This is one of those with a little icing on the cake. So the cutoff is going to be 1,667. The resonance is going to be at zero. And then the drive is at 38%. LP frequency, 0%. And then they pan 50%. And then they mix 100%. So all of it. So that's basically it for the effects. And the last thing uh, before we jump into this EQ is this envelope is pretty much all the default. I did bring up the release a little bit. I think standard is what, uh, 15 milliseconds. So I brought it up to 31 because I felt like it could just use just a tiny little bit more of release. And it feels like it doesn't cut off just as quick. It's a very subtle change, but I feel like it makes a little bit of a difference. And then really the most important part is the sculpting of the sound, the EQ wise. So this EQ, let's dive into this here. So with, this is with it off. Now on. Because in the track, there's really not too much low end and it's very focused on the mid and upper range. So for this first band, I cut it off quite steep right here. It looks like about, so let's bring this, open up this EQ, make it a little bit bigger, easier to see here. So this first one is going to be at 202 hertz at 56% and this kind of a steep curve. And then I cut out some mids at 511 hertz and then scooped out a little bit of 1K, 144K. And then I boosted the highs at about 5.5K. And then there's a very steep drop off at the top end. And this EQ is really um, kind of just listening to the track back and forth. As you can see, I have the track here, I have it muted. I don't want to get another copyright strike. But basically you have to kind of listen back and forth and back and forth, make small little changes until you get it pretty close. So if you want to take a look at these settings again, this is uh, as close as I got to the EQ curve that is on that patch there. And that's pretty much it. And then you add some drums to it and it brings it all, all together. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the patch or the video, if I helped you at all, press a like, maybe leave a comment, and then we'll see you in the next video.